Good morning. This is my second personal log. The first being secret. And will not be released until after the book release. This is my personal log for October 27, 2012, living on the beach. It's 4 o'clock in the morning. I woke up about 3. Been taking a walk, clearing my head. Because on Tuesday, October 30th, 2012, I will be before Justice Phyllis Flug on the motions calendar to have the Attorney General of New York State removed from being the defense attorney of the state offices of the five black elected officials, four black elected officials of New York State and any weight his argument could have, I want that expelled because I don't want the Attorney General interfering in my case as to who I can sue in New York State or not because his hands are dirty. He might have had the opportunity to defend them, but when he went on and began the prosecution of Shirley Huntley prior to a decision by Justice Flug on their motion to dismiss that tenemented to a period of conflict of interest till it is today because until October 30th when the Attorney General is back in criminal court while being simultaneously in Queens County Civil Court we have a problem you can't be prosecuting and defend somebody defending somebody on the same day. If you've got Shirley Huntley that bad in criminal court in a related matter, and that's what the biggest part of the argument is, it's whether it's a related matter or not, as to whether New York State Senator Huntley, whether her hands are clean on the allegations of the separation of powers. We also have her son dead. What happened to Robert Huntley, who, if you go to YouTube and you punch in homeless son of New York State Senator Huntley, you'll hear what he says. That can get somebody killed. Look what's happened to me. Victimized by the Veterans Administration twice on misuse and abuse of mental hygiene laws in order to discredit me to discredit evidence on two different things. And three of the four New York Harbor healthcare system facilities of the federal government, their hands are dirty. We'll get to that. What we're talking about right now, people, we're talking about the administration of Michael R. Bloomberg and his urban policies and his redlining. He's railroaded tens of thousands of people out of public housing to make room by raising the bar. How did he do that? He got the policy writers to write policy that raises the bar that circumvents federal law. How did he do that? He did it through his political appointees that are affirmative action guys, so he's got their own kind railroading them. It's only that the bougies get a chance to do it to the field ones. You got house Negroes railroading field Negroes for a Yiddish white guy. That's what the evidence says. Why can't we just accept that people and move on and take a look and see whether the evidence had, will meet the test of its weight? <clears throat> It's just that somebody don't want to say that you got a Jewish white dude that went and got a bunch of bougie Negroes, colored, light-skinned, straight-headed nig, or nappy-headed nig, the same kind of Negro to me. I'm a French green car guy whose life has been destroyed and everybody's out trying to destroy me everywhere I go. For what? It's a matter of integrity, people. It's a matter of integrity. I don't see anything else, do you? Can you see the light? Way down yonder. 
Well, it's really a light. Just because it's not shining on you, the benefit your pocket right here don't doesn't mean it doesn't exist. And you can just do anything you want to hurt other people and to protect things that you have no business protecting criminal activity or being involved in them. And I got everybody busted. That seems to be my new hobby right now. I got to, I got to a homeless shelter. I'm uh, and. Homeless veterans are getting abused. You're not supposed to say nothing, Dreis. If you want your benefits, you want your this, this, and that, you better keep your mouth shut. Okay. But Mayor Bloomberg, I got your boy Charles Carey in court Tuesday morning. I can't wait to meet him. Me against the three top-notch, the very best government lawyers, and a rich white woman's lawyer out of White Plains. <laughs> hey, Dwayne, and Julia Golia, Dr. Tobias, Dr. Shear, Mike Mooney, Dr. Boykin, how y'all doing? <laughs> What did you guys think you were doing? Huh? <laughs> I want to go to New York State Supreme Court, and I'm just going to spank me some booty. What do you say? I don't think you guys got the guts to come and watch. You get too much of a kick calling me crazy. You won't be able to keep it up forever. And I want you at your highest. I want you the most prominent. I want you to be the most rich you can be. So I can watch your world crash around you and see how you take it. <laughs> I'm handling it pretty well, don't you? <laughs> Look into the light. Look into that light.